Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel, All of My Plants. Today we are doing part two of the philodendron tour. Uh, and once again, we're going to record until the camera overheats. <laughs> um, but that should let me get a chunk of it done. So, yeah. Without further ado, on to the tour. Part two. Okay, philodendrons part two. I think we left off over here and there was a squamiferum there. So, I don't think we did these. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure we didn't. This is where we'll start. So this guy here is Philodendron Pareso Verde, and as you notice, it is green. There's like spider mites. Oh no, that's water. Um, but there were some spider mites. Uh, seems to have been addressed. Sorry, I'm staring at the plants as we go. A lot of water spots because I just like watered this one in the shower not that long ago. <laughs> Um, but yeah, still green. And it was outside. Like, people say, oh, it's heat and bright light. Okay, it was like 100 degrees in there, sometimes 110. And it did get some direct sun. So, hmm. There's no variegation anywhere on this thing. Just on the older leaves, which it has faded quite a bit. Um, and we've lost some of the older leaves. So, yeah, but these came in pretty white. But as they, as time's gone on, they faded to a green. With you can see some modeling. Where's the? Oh, this is the newest leaf. No, it's not. <clears throat> this is the newest leaf. It grew in the greenhouse. It just unfurled in here. It's got another one coming though. I don't know. I don't think I am going to cut it. I think it's just going to be the green Pariso Verde from now on. And then behind that, let's see if I can nudge it forward a bit. And then hiding behind the Preso Verde, hog of the show, is um, Padatum, Philodendron Padatum. That one's done good. It's not really grabbing onto that pole yet. That one has bark in it too. I think I ran out of moss. But uh, yeah, I like this plant. It's done well. It was slow to start for me, but once it did, um, it took off pretty well. And it's kind of everywhere. There's two in this pot. There's another one back there, like in the back of the pot. Um, and there's a few more around. I'm sure we'll see them at some point. But yeah, it does, I, I do like this plant. Now that it's gotten going, it's doing really well. Is that spider mites? No, that's just something in the sinus. But anyway, it's a lovely plant. I'll probably say that a million times today. Is that spider mites? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Oh. That's the Florida ghost we repotted yesterday. He's kind of backtracked. He used to live on the other side of the room, so so we don't miss him. I was trying to show him yesterday, but I, I'm aware that I sit like 10 feet away from the camera. I'm like, look at this. Um, that's the little minty leaf I was trying to show there, I think, one of those. That's really pretty, but yeah. It's an awkward little dude for now. It's fine, it'll be okay. And then up here, sorry we're a little blown out, um, that's Philodendron Jose Bono, and I love that plant. This leaf is the newest and it's still kind of hardening off. It's still very shiny, kind of new, so pretty. Um, I saw one of these and it's my friend down in Virginia has one, and his leaves are as big as my torso. Like these, these aren't there yet. They'll get there though, and that's the scary thing. <laughs> this is the newest growth point or it will be the newest leaf coming in there. I love this plant. I like that you can get the sectoral chunkiness and you can get this like splattering. <laughs> like I just, I love that. Now it does harden off. It doesn't stay this light. Eventually it kind of, yeah, it fades to a more green color, but it's still so pretty. Like, I don't know. I love this plant. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's overrated. I don't know, it's no more overrated than any other philodendron. They're all plants. <laughs> They're all plants. That's a big leaf back there. <clears throat> I think this is probably the biggest leaf on this plant. It grew outside, that's why. <laughs> but I love it. I keep saying, I keep threatening to chop it, but I just have not yet. Like, I think it would root just fine. We have good aerial roots, good adventitious roots in there. But yeah, I just don't have the heart to cut it. <laughs> Maybe in the spring. 
And then I think I showed the top cut of this um, Lime Fiddle slash Model Dragon. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what it's supposed to look like there. That green on green. Um, we weren't getting much of that anymore, so that's why I cut it. Let me get it out of here. This is the newest leaf that grew after I cut it. It's a weird little thing, huh? Not much going on on that one either, but you can see there's another one coming right behind it, so I guess we still have hope. I don't know, it's so shiny. It's a cute little thing. But yeah, so we're hoping to get some more uh, lime on this fiddle. <laughs> some more modeling on that dragon. <clears throat> Time will tell if we have succeeded. Okay, and then back there, um, it looks like some Splendids, which these had the same issue that the Florida Ghost had. There's two Splendids here. There's one in this cup, one in this cup. And, I mean, other than neglect, they also had a whole bunch of little babies growing on the stem. And I did pop a lot of them off the other day. Oh, 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 they're so tangled. Like you can see, there's actually two in here. There's still more going on. Um, but I figured I'd free up the other ten that were on here with it and see if it gets uh, any better, because that's rough. That's real rough. <clears throat> and then this is it. And then this is the other one. It had something similar going on, which it still has a couple there. Um, but it's better, trust me. It was just a, a wad of plant in the cup. <laughs> so, I don't know. But I like Splendid, I love it. I completely um, killed my other one, my, my big one that these came from. I just kind of forgot it in a corner and it didn't get watered. And then when I did, you know what happened? And then I forgot it again. <laughs> and then back there is the very unimpressive and dirty, um, philodendron white knight so which I have some more of those some that actually look a little bit better than that one you'll see more and then we're gonna come right down in front here that's my philodendron painted lady which I think is lovely this was the newest leaf but it's already hardened off it's got another one kind of stuck there uh, I think it'll free itself just fine this is the newest leaf on one, and then there's one more in here somewhere. Ugh. Somewhere. Is this it? No, that's the one I was just looking at. It's such a mess in here, I can't tell who's what. But yeah, so this is all Painted Lady. I think there's three growing points on here. Um, three active plants. It's so pretty. Um, it looks a lot like its neighbor right there, doesn't it? Kind of blending in. Um, we'll talk about that one there in a minute, but um, I'll go ahead and tell you one of the differences is that the petioles on the Painted Lady are kind of a pinkish color and um, the other one has a more upright growth pattern and like yellow petioles. So I might chew it on it. But this is such a pretty plant. It's an easy plant. My only complaint about it really has been sticky leaves, um, which I'm hoping that this it's very wet right now, that this moss pole will help, um, you know, with the humidity in the immediate area surrounding this plant. <laughs> so we'll see. Then that one there, which I, I think it's a, it's not, I don't want to say newer, but it's just becoming more and more recognized by collectors, um, you know, small scale collectors like us. <laughs> this is Calkins Gold. Um, and I've had it a little while. It's not been the fastest grower, but man, it is pretty. It is really pretty. Uh, it's, and it does remind me a lot of Painted Lady. I think it's the markings on the leaves, but it doesn't have any of that pinky or orange um, tint to it. It's just like yellow, yellowy green. I don't know, but it's, it's lovely. It's beautiful, I like it. Um, back to the like callback from my last plant tour, part one. I need to put it on a pole and I love this plant. <laughs> so, it is a pretty one. Let's see if I can hold it far enough away so you can see it. It's lovely though, right? I like it. 
Okay, and then we're gonna bury it under this guy so I can show you the next one. Then that one there is philodendron 69686. This is its newest leaf, and it has another one um, working down there, doing the thing. Um, I, it's just a beautiful plant. I've had some problems with it. It can be a little pesty for me. I've had mealybugs and spider mites on it, but like when this plant is looking good, it is looking good. I like these bigger long boys. I do. I don't know why, but I love them. It's just a pretty plant. I mean, it grows well. No, no complaints. It's in a huge pot. And I know you're probably like, oh my God, root rot. And it might be a thing. It really might. Um, but the pole takes up so much room that the root mass had to go somewhere and I didn't want to stuff it into the pole. So <laughs> that is why we have it in such a big pot. And so far, I mean, it's loving it. That is a very chunky mix and it does dry out pretty quick. Um, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully things are going to be fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and then hiding back there. That is Philodendron Glorious, which is beautiful. It has only recently been pulled as well. This is the newest leaf. It's a little bit smaller than the previous leaf, and I think that's just because, you know, I uprooted it and traumatized it and put it on a pole, but it's so pretty. It's a beautiful plant. It is, like, gorgeous. We have a new leaf coming. This one is not grabbing yet. It seems to be a little slower for me to put out adventitious roots and it really needs high humidity, it seems like, to do so. Sorry, this phone. I don't know who's messaging me. Eat my best friend. But anyway, Philodendron Glorious. I love it. And hopefully it gets in gear and gives me some uh, aerial roots soon. We do have a dead leaf, kind of, down there. You can just, yeah, there we go. That guy's toast. Um, and that was one of the original leaves that came with it. I think there was maybe two and a little teeny thing on it. So we only have one of the original leaves left now. But the little teeny thing went first and then the, uh, that other one's going now. So, um, but that's okay. It's growing. I think by the time we get to the top of the pole, maybe it'll be grabbing the pole and then we'll just put an extension on it. So let me shuffle things and make some room here. All right, then back here, this is the Philodendron Campos Bortoena. It's the top cut. I may have actually recorded me chopping the top off. I'm not sure, but it has, I think there's three in here. So there's a growth point. There's one that's getting ready to unfurl. This is one that I broke, but it, it's a lovely plant. It's still a little droopy. It didn't have any roots. So I just chopped it and stuffed it in this pot because um, I'm aggressive like that, I guess and uh <clears throat> we're hoping for the best but it did have oh it's all tangled up with everybody it did have some pretty good aerial roots here's oh, another one a baby you can kind of see the little growth point on the pole down there um it did have pretty good aerial roots so i figured oh, okay well you know it'll it'll get itself together and i think it will because none of these have actually died off they're just droopy which i don't know i think campus between them um, can be a little droopy anyway just because the petioles are so long. Mm, I don't know, maybe it's just telling me, hey, water me. <laughs> and then up here, completely blown out, let me kill that light. Okay, now you can kind of see. Um, this is Philodendron Bloody Mary, and I love this plant. I say that all the time. <clears throat> But I do, this plant is one that I kind of ignored for a long time. But um, as it's matured a little bit, it's really become one of my favorites. Like, look at that color. It is dark, so dark. It is the deepest red and it is magical. I love it, I love it. It looks black to me, so pretty. Um, but anyway, so this is what I was getting when I brought the plant in at the end of summer. This is what we were getting when I put it outside for summer. I mean, still a party in the back, right? But like, that's not coming off near as bright as I see it. But either way, it's beautiful, right? So is this the newest leaf? 
this was the newest leaf. This one here is coming. It's unfurling. It just unstuck itself while I was up here getting ready to film, as a matter of fact. But And then there's another one here. And this pole is dry. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's crunchy. I gotta water it. <clears throat> but it's... I can't just put a bottle on that one because it's so close to the ceiling. So I take it to the bathroom. The ceiling in there is a little bit higher. And I just kind of go ham spraying it for a while and then I put a bottle in it. Because it's, it's probably hydrophobic at this point. So pretty though. Yep, philodendron Bloody Mary. <laughs> All right, and then its neighbor here. This one is philodendron tripartitum. It's another big eared long boy. Not very long, but it's got big, huge ears. Love it. It's got some spots on it. I don't know, I might have to treat that with some antifungal. Um, but anyway, it's a very nice plant. It's one that I, at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna love this plant. This plant has given me some problems. It's been pesty. Uh, apparently now it has some fungal spots. Um, it's grown weird. Things love to munch on it. And you'd think with aerial roots like that, that it would root quickly. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, it's got a baby in there with it back there. You can see one of the leaves. And there's the growing point. But um, it just, it, that took forever. Like, that's the baby. I cut it way back here. Like this plant, it took back off fine, but establishing another one just, it took forever. It really did. I mean, don't let that discourage you from this plant. If it's a plant you're interested in, this is the newest leaf since I've repotted it. It threw a little bit of a fit. It's a little small, but you know, it'll catch right back up. But it is trying to put out some, oops, adventitious roots that I hope will grab that pole soon. If I water it, because once again, we're crispy, but yeah, philodendron tripartitum. I love this plant. And I already have it on a pole, so yay for that. <laughs> and then, let's see, on this little table here. This is uh, philodendron gloriosum. Look how long that leaf is. It's very long and narrow. But it's definitely philodendron gloriosum. Like, weird, right? This one here, it stayed, it was just a little chunk. And it stayed that way for, I want to say a year? maybe almost a year. And then all of a sudden it spit out some leaves. I was like, oh, I thought it was Plamenii. It's not. <laughs> and then kind of hanging out back here by this window is, uh, this is Philodendron subhestatum. It's doing good. It needs a pole. It didn't grow for me forever. It was in terracotta. Let's see if we can see that red backside. There we go. But yeah, sorry, I'm showing you the plants in place and I know that makes life awkward as far as lights and actually seeing the plant. But that's it right there. Needs a pole. Right now it's just kind of being propped up by a piece of bamboo. It is actually growing. I mean, it's growing better since I brought it in. Um, well, I guess it's cooler in here. I don't know, maybe it likes that. Maybe it likes that. But it is a pretty plant. This one here I don't really have many problems with. Um, like no sticky leaves. I don't know if I've ever had to treat it for pests. Um, like, don't, don't, you know, hold me to that, but I don't think I have. I don't think that leaf is gonna do well pushing up against this monstera leaf though. I'm gonna rotate it a little. There we go, be free. Okay, moving on. Down underneath this monstera that wants to be in the way. We'll move him. This guy here is the three cuttings of the Mayoi Tahiti Radiatum Dubium, whatever it is. This leaf here didn't come out so pretty, huh? But um, they all have new growth. With new growth, see that's one. Oh, did I lie? This one here just has a growth point. I don't know if you can see it. Um, this one here, this is the new leaf. But anyway, and then this is the new leaf on this one. I'm going to um, put them all on a pole with its mommy, um, eventually. <laughs> that poor leaf, it looks kind of like Thrips got to it. I don't know, I have to go inspect that, but I'm gonna treat it either way. But it's such a cool plant, it really is. Like this wouldn't be bad as a big old trailing bush either, a shrub. 
It would look kind of cool. I don't know, I'm gonna put it on a pole. <laughs> and then, okay. And that is where my camera decided to overheat. So, um, we made it basically from right behind where the camera is all the way around to right behind where I'm sitting. So all that's left up here is, I don't know, a half dozen? No, it might be a dozen. I don't know. It's some, and then there's a few still left downstairs. But uh, I guess after we finish the philodendrons, we will move on to, let's see, who do we do next? I don't know, tell me in the comments. We can do Hoyas, we can do Syndapsis. Um, we can do random plants that I only have two or three of. I don't know. We can do Anthurium. What do y'all want to see next? But yeah, Philodendrons is almost done. Maybe one more video. Even if it overheats, I'll probably just wait for it to cool down so we can go ahead and finish it in three parts like I did uh, five, six months ago. The last time I did a Philodendron tour. So, yeah. <laughs> for now, I'm going to go help my friend with her store. I'm going to go help her with her uh, Christmas display at her store. Um, I wanted to record yesterday, which would have been November 1st. Today's November 2nd as I'm recording. I wanted to record yesterday, but it didn't happen because um, I had a few too many adult beverages Halloween night, and I was not a productive member of society the next day. Uh, so, yeah. Yay, responsible adult. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, here's a picture of everybody who came except me. <laughs> I took the picture. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me and come back and check me out again soon. Bye.